Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are discussing linear equation in two variable and this is a topic of class 10. Uh, in previous lecture, we had discussed about uh, graphical method and in this lecture, I am going to discuss about the uh, algebraic method that is first method is method of substitution. This is video lecture number 5. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 4 before watching part 5. And in this lecture, I am going to discuss about the linear equations um, in two variable and the solution will be method of substitution. So from method of substitution, method of substitution or substitution method, right? So what is this substitution method? In this, uh, there is nothing but uh, there are two variables and we will have to um, find the eliminate one variable by another one. So how to deal with, let us uh, discuss from the exercise only. There is uh, no theory at all. Um, that is what we have to deal with uh, that can be understood through uh, questions only. So question is, what the step is? A step is, uh, no need to mention it, but you will see how to deal with the situations. So first question, is given solve the following pair of linear equation solve the following pair of pair of linear equation linear equation solve the following pair of linear equations by substitution method by substitution method substitution method right so that we have to deal with the first question from this topic is given that x plus y is equal to 14 and another one is x minus y is equal to 4. This is first equation, this is second equation. You have to deal with the solution uh, by using this from first or from second you can write anywhere you can take it from second x is equal to 4 plus y isn't it minus y will come this side and substituting the value of x in 1 now substituting the value of x in equation 1 we have what x plus y is 14 now so x plus y is equal to 14 that in place of x we can write 4 plus y plus y is equal to 14 and that will come up 2y is equal to 10 and therefore y is equal to 5. Now putting the value of y in 1, y is 1 so putting the value of y anywhere either 1 in 2 in 1 we get what x plus 5 is equal to 14 and since y is 5 so x is equal to 9 so therefore x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 5 is solution all right i hope you got it now the next question that i am going to deal with the question number 2 and 2 is s minus t is equal to 3 and s by 3 plus t by 2 is equal to 6. These are the two equations. From first, we can solution I am writing here. From first, we can write s is equal to 3 plus t. Putting the value of s in second. Now, putting the value of x in second because we have a uh, draw we have find substitute the value of one variable from first equation then you need to put in second so s is equal to 3 plus t so this will be 3 plus t divided by 3 plus t by 2 is equal to 6 that will be 2 times of 3 that is 6 plus 2t plus 3t and else will be 6 is equal to 6 so 6 plus 5t is equal to 6 will come this side it will be 36 
So this employee 5 t is equal to 30 and therefore t is equal to 6. So t is 6 now um, since s is equal to 3 plus t since s is equal to 3 plus t and t has been calculated 6 so 6 plus 3 is 9. So s is 9 and t is 6 that is the solution x is 9 and t is 6 that is its solution. Right, this is the pair of solution. I hope you got it. Now, from next uh, exercise, uh, next question that is third, third part of this age 3x minus y is equal to 3. This is the first equation, and second equation is given as 9x. 9x minus 3y is equal to 90. Okay, these are the two equations. So we have to deal with these two equations. Now from first we can write here solution. It's like from first y can be written. Y will come this side and 3 will come this side. That is 3x minus 3. Putting the value of y now. Putting the value of y putting or substituting in the same thing value of y in equation second equation second we have what will have that will be 9x minus 3 times of 3x minus 3 is equal to 90 and that will be 9x minus 3 3 ja, 9x and minus minus plus 9 is equal to 90. So this cancels and 9 is equal to 90. Which is not possible. Which is not possible. 9 cannot be equal to 90. No? So which is not possible. And therefore there is no solution. Therefore there is no solution no solution you can understood it that this is here a1 by a2 you may check it that a1 by a2 is here a1 by a2 is 3 by 9 that is 1 by 3 and b1 by b2 is minus 1 by minus 3 that is 1 by 3 and is not equal to 3 by 30 that is 1 by 3 by 90 that is 1 by 30. So this this is a pair of parallel lines. This is inconsistent and inconsistent has no solution. So we need to uh, we can do through this also but because there is a substitution method so I have gone through the substitution method only and this is what you can use it also. There is no problem. If you want to use it, you can use it. Now, uh, question number four. Question number four is there, and fourth question is like question number four. And fourth question is zero point two x plus zero point three y is equal to one point three, and zero point four x plus 0.5 y is equal to 2.3. If we multiply by 10 throughout the equation, then that will be 2x plus 3y is equal to 13 and that will be 4x plus 5y is equal to 23. That will be easier to solve, you know. In case of putting points, we can go with this. Now, I can from first, from first, we can have solution right 2x is equal to 13 minus 3y and therefore x is equal to 13 minus 3y by 2 that is equation 3 now because i have uh, find the value of x from first equation so we need to put in second equation and putting the value of this in second putting now Putting the value of 
x in second equation in equation second equation second we have we have 4x plus 5y so we will write 4 in place of x we will write 13 minus 3y by 2 plus 5y is equal to 23 and that will come up like 13 4 2 to the 4 so 2 into 13 is 26 minus 2 into 3 6y plus 5y is equal to 23 and 23 will come this side so it will be 26 minus 23 is equal to minus 6y plus 5y is minus y and minus y will come this side it will be plus y and therefore y is equal to 3. Now from third equation we have x is equal to 13 minus 3y by 2. So we can write 13 into 3 into 3 by 2 that is 13 minus 9. 9 is 4 by 2 which is equal to 2. So x is 2 and y is 3. Therefore the solution x is 2 and y is 3 is solution. One pair of solutions so that is why. Now there is a question, question number 5 and what is that? Try to understand. 5 is a question that is written as, let me write from next page. Fifth question I can write from here only and that is a fifth question that is under root 2x plus under root 3y is equal to 0 and now and there is a root 3x minus root 8y is equal to 0. This is second equation. So I have to uh, deal with uh, first and second. What is that? Because here both the sides are 0. This is only possible if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. But let me uh, solve it from first solution. I can write from first we can write. Uh, root 2x is equal to minus root 3y and this employee x is equal to minus root 3 upon root 2y and that is equation third. Putting the value of putting the value of x in second we get we get what we get if I am putting the value of x then this will be root 3 and x is minus root 3 by root 2 into y right uh, minus root 8y is equal to 0. So if I took y common then this will be y into 3 by root 2 minus root 8 is equal to 0 and this employee y is equal to 0 with constant will divide in this side it will be 0. If I put y is equal to 0 here, x will be also 0. So from third, from third, x is also 0. And therefore, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 is only solution. x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 is only solution. Right? That's the solution. Now, uh, see the next question and the question number 6 is there. And that is a five x three x plus one is three x by two minus five y by three is equal to minus two. And the next one is x by three plus y by two is equal to thirteen by six. This is first and this is one is second. Now, uh, if I'm looking from first, from first solution, I'm going to write here. From first, 3x by 2 is equal to 5y by 3 minus 2. That will come this side, it will be positive. So that is 5y minus 6 by 3. 
if I am writing 3x then 3 by 2 will be this side 2 by 3 times of 5y minus 6 by 3 or we can write it 2 by 10 y minus 6 to 12 divided by 3 3 ja 9 this is equation third okay now since we have drawn from first so we'll put in second putting the value of putting the value of x in second we get second means second equation so x is 1 by 3 x by 3 that is 1 by 3 in place of x we will write here 10 y minus 12 upon 9 plus y by 2 is equal to 13 by 6 got it i have placed here x by 3 plus y by 2 is 13 by 6 and x is nothing else but uh, like this so i hope you got it now 3 9 are 27 so that will be 10 y minus 12 upon 27 plus y by 2 is equal to 13 by 6 so further we can write it taking lcm then this will be 10 into 2 20 y minus 24 plus 27 y upon this will be 27 into 2 lcm will be 27 into 2 and that is 13 by 6 so 2 cancel this 3 times and 3 cancel this 9 times so 9 will multiply this side you know now the things will come 20y plus 27y is 47y 47y minus there is 24 24 and is equal to 117 so that will be 47y is equal to 24 will come this side it will be plus 117 plus 24 is 141 and therefore y is equal to 3 and this is fourth question you can say fourth now putting the value of y in third so x is equal to since x is equal to what we have drawn x x is nothing else but here we have drawn 10 y minus 12 by 9 10 y minus 12 by 9 so 10 y minus 12 by 9 so that is why 10 into 3 minus 12 by 9 that is 30 minus 12 is 18 by 9 that is 2 so x is 2 and y is 3 in the each solution I hope you got it right now looking for the second question there is a question number 2 and 2 is solve 2x plus 3y is equal to 11 and 2x minus 4y is equal to minus 24 and hence find the value of and hence find the value of find the value of hence find the value of m for which y is equal to mx plus 3 y is equal to mx plus 3 so to solve this question we can use substitution method and uh, we will write it 2x plus 3y is equal to 11 this is first and 2x minus 4y is equal to minus 24 so we can divide it by 2 so that will be x minus 2y is equal to minus 12 and hence x can be written as 2y minus 12 this is third i can say this is second and this is third i can draw it now putting the value of x because i have drawn from second so we should put in first putting the value of x in first putting the value of value of x in first we get two times of x is 2y minus 12 plus 3y is equal to 11 
so that is 4y minus 24 plus 3y is equal to 11 and this employee 4y plus 3y is 7y is equal to 24 plus 11 is 35 and therefore y is equal to 5 now from third from third we can write x is equal to 2y minus 12 so if you put y is 5 minus 12 that is 10 minus 12 is minus 2 so x is minus 2 and y is 5 that is what we come we have now we have to find the value of y is equal to mx plus 3 since y is equal to y is equal to mx plus 3 mx plus 3 supporting the value of y is 5 there and m we don't know that we have to calculate and this is minus 2 plus 3 so this 3 will come this side it will be negative so 2 is equal to minus 2m and hence if you want to find m therefore m is equal to 2 upon minus 2 2 upon minus 2 that is minus 1 so value of m is therefore value of m is minus 1 minus this is what answer I hope you got it okay so this is what uh, in this question and now we have to deal with uh, some other type of questions that is language problem and to solve language problem uh, we will take another session and uh, in that session we will discuss so I hope you got it what the substitution method let us recall what you need to find out and some steps to be right here that first of all steps to be right here to uh, deal with substitution method so summary of substitution method is that you have to find the value of x from first equation and put into the second equation right um, or a value of y from first equation and put into the second equation and vice versa so hopefully you will do this in after the break we will take some more questions and that will be language problem so that is a basic questions which is a ask in competitive examination as well as school, school examination so we will take care of those questions uh, next session till then bye god bless